focus of the radio, like this Pioneer one, uh, you, uh, the uh, purple and white is reverse. So you want to hook up, tap the reverse wire. This is a little bit short, so I extended it to that wire right there. All right, let's say if your camera is not working, so you need an aftermarket. So in order to do an aftermarket, you're going to have to drill a big hole right here. I mean, it looks big, but it has to be that big because uh, the wiring over here is pretty thick. I mean, it don't have to be as big, but then you can uh, just cover it with, uh, uh, oh, what is that called? I think about it later. But uh, anyway, uh, you run it back here. You're gonna do a ground right there. Or you, or you can run it the ground over here if you want. This is this blue wire right here. That's the uh, reverse wire. So you can use that ground wire as the ground over here or or uh, just do what I did right there. Screw it down and then uh, hook up the uh, plug right here. It's got red and black. The red will go to that red wire right here, which is going to the blue wire over here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tap this uh, yellow and white. It's supposed to work, but for some reason I could not get it to work. I've been sitting down here for almost an, uh, almost an hour and a half trying to figure out why when I bypass it out there, it's not working. It's For some reason, it does not give the right voltage or the right output. I'm not sure, but I'm going to tap the yellow to the positive of the... Uh, actually, as you can see right here. See this? This is a video. I'm going to plug uh, the positive, which is the, the, uh, the male, to the yellow, and then the white to the negative. Here's what I'm doing. You're going to have to cut one of the RCA jack about uh, 8 inches. Cut it right here. Now once you cut it, you're going to strip it. Now on this color, the, the gray one is positive, which is the male right here. And then the other one is negative. So I'm going to use the gray one as positive. And then the blue is negative. I'm going to take this and uh, wrap it around those wires. I only have one hand, so basically I had the gray one hook it up to the yellow, which is positive side, and then the white one negative side. I unplugged this part right there so it don't interfere with uh, factory OEM. Now as you can see right here, after I wrapped it, I taped it really good. That way it won't rip through. You know, they're going to have some uh, to cover th that part right there down here, actually. Uh, I didn't take that off. It was off already. So you plug that power back here and then the video out here and you go out front. You see it is 8 o'clock and I'm still here working by myself trying to figure this thing out. So you see a, a pin right there, pin 6 and pin 18 right here. The yellow one is positive and the white one is negative. So hook that up to... The jack, the other end of the jack, you got to make another jack like I did earlier. I had one ready for it right there. So the gray one go to the yellow and then the other one go to the uh, negative. Now, as I was mentioned earlier, I, I am by myself. I cannot kind of explain how to uh, crimp this thing up like that. So I got the gray one positive and then the other one negative, the white one. The factory wire that I cut out from here. You don't have to cut them, you can tap them, but I, in this case, I, I cut them because I tried to do a lot of testing earlier, it didn't work. So now, I'm going to plug this thing to the reverse camera input, and then I do also hook up the, uh, you can see right here, it's a little bit dark, uh, this uh, uh, brown and orange, brown and orange is on uh, that pin right there the big oh, it's kind of blurry it's between the brown and pink is between you get a better look at this between white and green whoops Yep, between white and green right there. That's brown and pink. So, no, brown and orange, I'm sorry, it's brown and orange. 
Now, as I was saying, I am working late, late, trying to figure this thing out. I'm going to turn the key on. I'm going to put one screw right now because I took a couple of time out already. Turn it on and see if I got it working. Let it come on. English. Turn the volume down. Okay, now I'm going to put a reverse, see if it works. Ha ha, it works. Yes, so now, at least I can go home now. So, uh, that's how you uh, hardwire this uh, uh, backup camera if uh, the regular hookup is not working. I mean, I hooked it up just the way it is. It doesn't work, so... I had to do this. Maybe some uh, somebody else might have a better video than me, or maybe they f figured out something. Uh, I I couldn't figure it out, so I had to hardwire it and run another camera to it. So here it is, 2015, 14 and 15 should be the same Kia Optima. Let's do it one more time, just in case. Voila! Look at that. You see the garage, so. here so I'm putting on reverse right now and put on a test light with this uh, a brown and orange it should be the reverse see it's on right now I'm put on park see if that's the right one so that's the right one so I'm hooking up this uh, this right there it's a uh, brown and orange right between green and white so so basically, I think, I'm not sure what pin it is, but uh, anyway, I didn't have time to look at all the pin, but it's between green and white, uh, where the uh, negative of the uh, RCA jack for the uh, video input at. <laughs> 